I believe. I believe. That Jesus is the Christ. That Jesus is the Christ. The Son of the Living God. The Son of the Living God. My Lord. My Lord. And my Saviour. And my Saviour. John then, upon your profession of faith, I baptise you in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. grandfather I was very very close to him uh, everywhere he went I went with him he was uh, an elder in the Abbey Church in Coenan he was good friends with Reverend Buckingham the minister there and I spent a lot of time around the minister and classed him as a, a friend uh, it was Sunday school and church every week with my papa and I, su I suppose I, I really enjoyed it with the, the boys' brigade. There was something every night after school. I would come in from school, phone my papa, and away we'd go somewhere. Uh, once I'd done my homework, of course. Sadly, four days before my tenth birthday, my, my papa died a massive heart attack, and effectively that was the end of any interest I had in going to church and Sunday school and the boys' brigade and everything else. I still thought I'd read the Bible now and then, I'll be okay, make me a good Christian. I was happy doing that. As I got older, all my friends were a lot older than me, maybe six, seven years older than me. So as I got older, they were all getting to reach the pub age, but I was a, a big lad, so I got into the pubs with them and a heavy drinking culture. But at times I was still reading my Bible, still going to church occasionally, regularly talking to God. And I thought that's all I had to do. I was a good Christian for doing that. As time went on, drinking got heavier. Times weren't so good. I decided that maybe it wasn't as good a Christian as what I thought it was. So I kind of lapsed away from everything. Eventually I met my wife, Carol Ann, and I suppose she tamed me a wee bit, stopped me being so silly. I stopped drinking as heavily, stopped all oh, the silliness, I suppose, in my life. We get married and eventually I stopped drinking altogether. Uh, we found out beginning of last year that she was pregnant and that was, that was amazing. I was having my, my second daughter. Uh, while this was going on, I'd already met John and Shona Carden. I ran a bike club, a, a bike Facebook group, I suppose. Uh, I've always been into motorbikes, and we had organised, my group had organised a run, and John and Shona had organised a run also. No very many people turned out for either group. We decided we'd go around together. While we were away, we got chatting, and somebody had made a joke about uh, being a Christian. And I said, see, what are you I'm a Christian as well. You can't, you can't say that. And they were kind of taken aback a wee bit because I wasn't exactly the, the greatest role model for Christians. But uh, as time went on, I realised I'm not as good a Christian as what I thought I was. Just because I, I speak to God and just because I, I read a Bible doesn't make me a good Christian. So I had tried several churches over time, trying to find one that... I fitted in, I felt comfortable in. I tried several, just either found a good minister that I liked, but I didn't fit in with the congregation or vice versa. And then John and Shona says, listen, we've got a presentation about the CMA in Central Evangelical Church in Kilmarnock, would you like to come along? And I'm like, that sounds sounds good. So we had a good ride out on the Sunday, then we went to church at night. And instantly, as soon as I walked in the place, just felt really 
calm and welcome and wanted. So I started going there and felt really at peace. Started understanding more about Christianity. And then the Biker Hub became a place. And I spent more and more time here. And evenings when there was nobody else about, there was more and more chats between myself, John and Shona, and Gordon McLeod and other members of the CMA. There was one day some friends were up from down south, one of the CMA branches down south, and I was on my way up to the hub after my, my work. And as I was coming to one of the roundabouts, a car pulled right in front of me. And my normal instinct was rage, followed by violence, wanting to smash the window of the car. And as soon as I thought that, there was instantly a, just a wave of calm come over me. And I thought, no, that's, that's not the, th the thing to do. So I just calmed down, let the car over the, onto its own lane, passed it when I had a chance, and I came into the hub. And I spoke to Gordon McLeod when I came in and explained what had happened. And just calmly turned around and he says, that's the Holy Spirit washing over you now, that's, that's, that's what that is. So that kind of took my back and I sat and thought about it and I went, ah, yes, that's, that is, it really is. I started looking back over the last year or so and realised how much I had changed and for the better and my understanding of things had changed. And uh, we were sitting later on that night and Bob Buss from the Cambridge branch of the CMA got chatting to me and he was like, so are you a member of the of uh, the rest of Scotland branch? And I'm like, no, no, he's like, why not? And that got me thinking as well. So a couple of weeks later, I was sitting, I said to John one night, I said, right, I said, I think I'm ready to become a supporter and then a member of the CMA. And he's like, I think you might be right. He says, I can see a, a big change in you. So I became a member and again, that, that's helped me greatly between the church, the hub and the, the, my new friends and family. I suppose they've helped me greatly in my, my Christian walk. And then at the beginning of this year, I decided that the time was right. I wanted to be baptised. And ever since then, everything just seems to be clicking into place even greater. And I'm just really so excited about it.